We are joined with two very special guests here, friends of the show, but also friends of the animals. Holly Press, the veterinary director for Friends of Animals, as well as Cindy Bush, the director of Friends of the Animals. Thank you both so much for joining us. How are you guys doing today? Great, thank you. Happy to be here. Happy to have this wonderful grant. Yes, you led me right into my first question. You guys are here because you are yet another East Texas recipient of Miranda Lambert's Mutt Nation grant. Can you guys tell me a little bit? We'll start with you first, Sydney. Tell me a little bit about this grant and what it means for your organization. Well, it's huge for a small rural organization that we are uh, to have this grant is huge. Um, we do, we're just a one day a week spay neuter clinic um, in Gun Barrel City. And we do uh, about 50 to 60 surgeries in that one day. And we need to do that. We've got to sterilize the surgical equipment. So we use that money to buy an autoclave uh, to sterilize the instruments, which we couldn't, we couldn't do the surgeries without that. So that was huge for us. And Holly, what does this mean for you? I mean, you're the veterinary director, so you get a firsthand account of these spaying and neuterings. What's this been like for you so far? Well, um, really great. The organization is great, and I've been with them since the beginning, and, you know, we rely on donations like this, so it, it's big, you know. It helps uh, also low-income families be able to get their uh, dogs, cats, spayed and neutered where they might not otherwise be able to do that. And, you know, we're coming in at a time, I spoke with this with the SPCA of East Texas, as well as the Longview Animal Care and Adoption Center, who are also recipients of this grant, about the fact that the majority, if not all, of these animal shelters here in the United States right now are severely overcrowded due to the lack of spaying and neutering. Can you guys touch on that just a little bit? Holly, we'll start with you this time. What has that overcrowding been like for you guys? And, wow. and Holly, Holly has a great story. Holly has a great story about this, a personal story. I have a personal story. Uh, we had two dogs dumped at our place just a couple of months ago. And so I'm still trying to find homes for them. I had them spayed, neutered, vaccinated. But like you said, all the shelters are full. You know, people just need to realize how important spay and neutering is. Absolutely. Now, this is something that, like we were touching on earlier, is a little bit of a cost to those pet owners, and they might not always think about those additional costs when it comes to adoption. Um, can you go into a little bit about what it, how people in your area are able to access these no-cost or low-cost spay and neuterings uh, for their pets? Holly, you're up. <laughs> oh, <laughs> well, I know there's a voucher program that maybe Sydney can tell you more about that, you know, for especially large dogs. Um, but anyone can really call Friends of the Animals and schedule their appointment. And it's still low cost compared to a full service vet, even it paying full price at Friends of the Animals. Sydney, yeah, is there anything absolutely. you want to add? Yeah, uh, Holly was talking about the voucher program. We do a couple of fundraisers through the year, throughout the year, and we take that money and we work with food pantries in the area, um, people resources, and they are very generous about uh, qualifying families that come in and ask for help. Uh, and they will give them a voucher which pays the surgery cost for dogs over 40 pounds and cats. Uh, these are the big problem children. Uh, this big dogs will can have a litter of nine or 10, 12 puppies and cats can have three to four litters a year of four to five and there's no place for these puppies and kittens to go. So that's a, that's a real priority for us. Now we've talked a little bit about how you guys can serve the community, but let's before we begin, get into how the community can better serve y'all. Can you give me a little bit in three words or less? What does Friends of the Animals mean to either of you? What does Friends of the Animals exemplify to you guys? Hmm. That's the three tough. words. <laughs> we could talk all day, couldn't we, Holly? <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, compassion, caring, um, you know, just joy of seeing animals 
get the help they need. Absolutely. Yeah. Now, Sydney, do you have three or more words that you would like to oh, use? I, well, on, honestly, we could sit here all day and talk about this, but uh, Holly kind of summed it up yeah. with compassion. That's to see these uh, low-income families go home with their pets in the afternoon after having surgery and knowing they're never going to reproduce. That's yeah. That's just huge for everybody there. Our organization has about 30 or 40 volunteers that come in every Tuesday, I know, and do everything there is to do. And we have a few staff people, but we're a mostly volunteer driven organization and they're all there because they love animals. So it's, I'm sorry, was that more than three words? <laughs> <laughs> well, we did change the rules for you a little bit, Sydney. We said three okay. or more for you. So okay. getting right on into it, the community, if we are able to give back, what are the best ways for us to do that for the Friends of the Animals? With an animal shelter that is overrun, overpopulated, and full of amazing volunteers, how can the community support you guys? Well, donations are always needed. I mean, it just, it never ends. The need never ends. Um, and that money will go to help lower income families who can't afford even our low rates um, get their pets spayed. But spay and neuter your own pets. Jeez, it's not that hard. It's a simple thing. Right, Holly? Oh <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> it is not that hard, people. You heard it here first. Get it done. Goodness gracious. Just do it. Just do it. You guys are cracking me up today. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so <laughs> donations are always needed. Are these monetary donations, are you okay with people dropping off newspapers and pet supplies and Absolutely. food? Absolutely. Yes. And where yes. can they do that? Yes. Uh, well, we're in Gun Barrel City, uh, 122 Old Gun Barrel Lane. Um the things that we get donated that we can't use like food, we give to the shelters. Um, we offer to any of the rescues or we do, we work with a lot of rescues also, and they also need help all the time. They're also full. Um, it's just, it's a very frustrating time. I can't remember it being this bad for a long time. Can you Holly? It's, no. It seems like it's like it's, it's worse now. And I don't know why that is. I don't, I don't know if it was COVID, everybody adopted during COVID and then they gave their animals back after they went back to work or I, I don't know, I don't know what's causing this, but it's, it seems to be worse. It, we don't know what's causing it, but we do know for a fact that it is a very serious problem. So any types of donations are always welcome for you guys. And with yeah. this Mutt Nation grant, helping you guys spay and neuter at an even lower cost than you already offer, if there's even a cost at this point, uh, you guys are right. setting the community up for success when it comes to spaying and neutering and making sure that these stray animals and your own animals don't reproduce and then get dumped on lands. What is the biggest issue that you guys are seeing when it comes to intake? Is it mostly from people dumping? Is it from people just returning animals that they bought with or they adopted without any foresight? Could be a little of both. There's a lot of dumping. I mean, Holly's got that personal story that, but this is very common, especially in rural areas, especially people who live in, in the country outside of the, the towns. Um, you'll hear this all the time. Go on Facebook, you'll see just picture after picture of, you know, someone dumped these dogs or these cats at my house and I can't keep them and the shelters are full. Then what do you do with them? It's, it's a real problem. Alrighty, well, ladies, is there anything that I have not gotten the chance to ask you both that you guys would like to let our viewers know before I let you go? Just fix your animals, fix your animals. It isn't that hard. Bay and neuter. Spay and neuter. I, I really like you guys. You're very blunt and to the point, and we need a little bit more of that. I'm always told I'm very blunt and to the point. I just, I feel like I need a little bit more women around me like that. I absolutely love it. Thank you guys so much. Once again, spay and neuter your animals. Holly Press Veterinary Director and Sydney Bush, the director, friends of the animals. Thank you both so much for joining me here and have a great rest of your day. Thank, Thank you, you for having us. And we love Miranda Lambert, by the way. Oh, uh, how could you not? She just made your day. <laughs> yes, she did. Absolutely. Yes, she did. Thank you, Michaela. Thank you, guys. Have a great rest Thank of your day. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.